Tishana speaking and I'm here to talk about how we can, you know, cure what cure damaged hair. Now I'd like to share that I recently went to a salon to relax my hair and that you know they burnt my hair actually. I should say be I should be honest because it is easy. The top part looks me. Okay. But when you see the behind, you can see yourself uh, how much dry it is and you can see the top. And for this, I had a long hair, but I don't like the uh, hair. Like most of the long hair girls do. But um, now, recently, since I found this in my hair, I've gone through a lot. So I found a remedy going through Google and most of the times I like to find homemade remedies which are natural. So what I'm doing is I found a remedy and I tried it before even coming to this video and it did really work in a short span of time you know, by the time you use that hair mask and then shampoo and conditioner your hair as usual you would see amazing results you know this would be like actually that would be taken in your hair and like in a neat way not as uh, dry and you know like this not in this quality but you'll get the best version of what you really want and you're going to observe that right today and I won't be editing my video because you should see what's happening by yourself but then when I have to wash my hair after applying the mask or have to wait for 20 minutes things like that maybe I'll have to have the time for you because you can't just see me waiting 20 minutes I do but then if there's something that I can share with you maybe I will do that and let's start okay for that I'd like to share you the ingredients before even starting to apply a conditioner or a shampoo, the best thing you have to do is comb your hair. So I did that, as you can see, and if this was too dry, I used this comb uh, the other side. I'll just I'll let it show you. And there are much better brands than this, I'm sure. I just got an average one. I think uh, you can see the one. I think it's a bit blurry. But then I'll read it out for you. It's called Pilu O Masi. Pilu O Masi. P U L U O M A S I. Um, yeah. Pulu or Masi comb. You can get different versions of these combs. This is basically, I was advised that this comb is used to just style your hair actually after you finish drying your hair, washing your hair, or just whenever you want to comb, just to style like this. Uh, and uh, yeah, basically, we um, try to use the bigger side because you don't want the smaller side to that you know for the hair to fall yeah. so this is what i usually do after I wash or even whenever i want to comb my hair uh, and see you can see the difference yourself when i comb this part i have no issues but when i comb this part I'm sure you can hear the sound, the brush going through my hair. But I did this before as well, but it wasn't going as smooth as this. It was worse than this. Um, but it's not as smooth as, you know, being able to brush the hair like this. So this is the brush I'll be using. But then again, I was advised that when you wash your hair, when you're conditioning, uh, con applying conditioner, you've got to use a white tooth comb if you want to keep your conditioner for some time. 
Yeah. Now this type of foam. This is just for hair styling. After you brush, dry everything. I mean, after you shampoo, condition, you finish off your hair stuff. Just to style your hair. So I'll show you how I would apply the hair mask and what on all ingredients I'd be using. Yeah. So I'll just show you. I just need one egg. If it's a short hair, it's one egg. It's enough. And if it's longer or medium, if you think it's not enough, you can go for two. I'm going for two today because last time I went for one, I tried making a video, but it wasn't sufficient enough. So I'm just using two eggs today. I'd also like to share something about this. This is short thing. That in eggs, the white part of the egg is good for oily hair. And the yellow part of the egg, that is the egg yolk, is good for dry hair and you know, hair like this. I've tried just using the egg yolk and it has done a lot of, it made a lot of difference. We're gonna do something like that for this as well. But we're gonna use both this time, egg yolk and white, because both, they say that egg white has protein as well, which is even good. So it just doesn't have to be deal with oily hair it has other benefits which I didn't read much but <laughs> this is the basic thing that I found so we'll that and I'll just warm some olive oil which I have here I'm, I don't want to pour it so hey guys again I just wanted to show you that um, this is olive oil I have warmed it up I didn't boil it because you know it say hot oil massage. So I mean I use olive oil, coconut oil is fine as well. They say coconut oil is really good, but make sure your coconut oil has been coated. So this is olive oil. I I show you why. I put it in the cup, and this is the olive oil. That I have. Right, I'll be showing that to you when I apply and I'll show you the conditioner and shampoo that I was recommended uh, to the salon that I did my hair okay. so the conditioner oh sorry the shampoo is this L'Oreal Professional Paris Extensive Hair Shampoo Pro Keratin Plus Insole Anti Breakage Plus Anti Drying Straightened This is for straightened hair including colored hair I used another type of L'Oreal Absolute Repair Shampoo or Conditioner when I didn't color my hair but I relaxed my hair no, That was really good And this works as well for colored hair I'm using it this is the shampoo and that's the conditioner. It's the same thing. Yeah. Conditioner is more. Okay. You can see that. Extensive hair. Okay. Extensive hair mask. Full keratin plus insel, anti breakage plus anti climate. L'Oreal professional yeah so that's the oops, that's the conditioner all right so what we do is we're starting off with a ham so to prepare the hammer we need the warm oil which i got here you can use uh, i like this in different websites they say two tablespoons three tablespoons I just put some you know, icy satisfaction. The olive oil is not going to damage your hand anymore. So I don't want to see it And I'll get the egg down, which I'll be breaking and putting it. I'll show you how I do it. After, uh, sorry, I mean, I'll break the egg and then come back because this time I'm going to be like that. 
you know, I know that we all know basically that breaking eggs and then I put it in. Okay. Okay. Just give me a second. <laughs> hey guys, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry, but I'll just show you how I <laughs> break things. It's as usual as you all do, but it'll be fun in the video. Alright, I just uh, yeah, it's okay. I just poke it in so I can just separate it. You can see the egg going out, but it's a piece of egg shit as well that's trying to go out. The olive oil has come up, it has risen. I'm just um, not... I can use the behind of the spoon to look at it. Excess like this inside the egg, and that's one egg. We'll try another egg as well because I'm sure it's beneficial. That's a big one. And now it's time to put it in. Make it set and what? <laughs> That's fine. You can just play with the egg. <laughs> you can see the egg coming out. Right. See you again with the back side of the egg. Oh, the spoon and uh, try to get any excess egg that's left. Egg um, and egg is left. Egg is left. We have the shoes and the something inside. It is kind of extra, 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 so now that we have the spoon and our hot olive oil with two eggs and the yolk, I'll just show you how it looks like inside. Well, that's how it looks like. You see, um, the olive oil and the two eggs inside. Yeah, and the cup is now full, as you can see. Whoa, that's the cup. And you see the eggshells right there? It's right there. And so, what I'm going to do is I'll just, you know, since it's on top of the cup, I'll just first do the mix. And then you can start beating it lightly. Well, you can do this uh, fry as well if you like. So, finish beating this up as much as you want to, and then I'll continue the clean of this video. So guys, I'm nearly done with this part. So I'll just show you how it's going to be. You can see that. 
Can you see the? Oh, this could right there. Maybe. Let's see how runny it is, but I think it's uh, I need to see some tendency. That's really good. I see that's how it is. It's fun actually when you do this beating part, you know, just get it in and then get all the way. Now, I'll just show you how it looks like. Alright, let's see the camera. And that's how it looks like after it's beaten. I'm sorry about the cakes. You know, they're funny. Wiggling wooly. And there are the eggs that are beaten. And that's the tendency that our, the type of tendency that I've achieved. If you would like, you can still go on beating it. Just, you know, just give it things like this. And you, you know how to beat, so yeah. <laughs> Next, I'll show you how I'm gonna apply this to the hair. So let's get ready. I know applying it to the hair is a bit of a lengthy process, but we can do it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get ready. I'll just demonstrate how I'm gonna do this. So I'm gonna stop talking from now. The best part is basically you can section your hair as if you know how to do it, but um, I'm not that kind of a professional as I said earlier, so I'm gonna just take this, some part of my hair and start with the front with the front. And that's why you, know, you have to keep a paper on the bottom. Just keep a paper on the You just have to, you know, like you are applying a hair color with a. You know, let's see the paper that I use The foil. Yeah. And you can see the bottom part of my hair, which is like this. And when applying oil, you know, it will show how it has become. You can see it's like a stick now. <laughs> It's all stuck together, which is really good, and which is what we need. Which is what we really need. So you continue that, uh, following to the other hair, to the other hair strands. So we're doing this to the full hair today because of. You know, I want to demonstrate how this happens with whole hair. It's a uh, first time trial with the whole hair, so it's actually going to be interesting. And Can I just blend that part in? Okay. Likewise, you just do it for the whole hair, okay? And uh, I'll return back once I'm finished with all of this, applying all of the egg and olive oil all over my hair. And I'll show you what to do next, okay? Stay tuned. Sorry, guys, but yeah. It's a lot of the that I told you, but I just wanted to show you something that can help you. I've kept the bucket on my lap as well as the bucket. 
and so that you know uh, things don't fall off. But it has come back somewhat. But you know, what I did was most of the time since my bottom part of the hair is brittle and dry as it is, I just leave my hair like that. What is it? Which is the most easiest thing for the bottom part of the hair. So I'm like applying oil and see. I can see the egg blowing out of my hair. But that's good. You don't have to leave just like that. You can, I just, uh, you know, do this. But the more oil, or the more oil and the egg it has, the more it conditions your hair. So it's more. Uh, it's more. Maybe I'm not a little bit on my hands. You can see how it twirls. You can see how soft the hair looks like. And it's more tamed here yeah, compared to how it looked like when I didn't wash my hair or anything. So you just see that. It's, so you're gonna see a magic after. Um, but there's a uh, few processes, a few steps left. So I have more eggs here left. So um, I'll just show you how I'm applying it most of the times. You know, as I told the bottom part of the hair, but for the top part, as I did earlier, it's the same thing. So I'll get back to you after I finish applying all the eggs. So, yeah. So guys, I'm sorry about how funny it looks right now, but I have completed applying the egg all on my hair, inside and out, all the edges, stuff like this. So you keep applying like you color your hair, if you want a full hair color, just like that. And yeah, in another episode I have um, natural remedies to apply a different sort of natural herb that would color your hair without any damage and you know you can get the same effect like a brunette hair even the more you continue to do it the more you get a different uh, you get more color in that so you have to do it every time i will show you how i will do that in another video but here you see that how tame the hair looks at the bottom now and that's the end we shall cut off later <laughs> but it's just tame right now so I'll wait for 20 minutes to 30 minutes and I'll get back to you. I'll wash my hair and then show you the next step. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> I'll show you how I'll be washing my hair and I'm ready. Catch you. Let's start now. Sure. Can you tell me what's going on? Okay, 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 okay. Hey guys, I'm back after washing my hair and you know, I know you'll be like, oh, whoa, what is this? what is this but you know the magic is right after this i washed my hair with water in as i showed you earlier and i come back after cutting it dry i didn't uh, dry it much i need to add dry it but the next step since i've dried it now it looks um still, it's because of the stickiness of the egg uh, that's why and also i'd like to add that in the mask you could also add other things like aloe vera gel or even aloe vera directly from the plant i think i had it take off and you can do those things if you help your hair even more like in more ways mm -hmm. here i i've used egg and olive oil as i've shown you now i'll show the next step and have video with you guys which is the shampoo the shampoo is 
this as I showed you earlier, but I will show it again. That's the shampoo. And now I'll be applying this on my hair and then I will wash it. I'll show you some of the process here and there. This is uh, for you to get a glimpse of how it is to use the shampoo. As I've told you that I'm going to use the shampoo, I'll just show you the things that how it is. So this is a press button for which I will be pressing and then you have it here. You just have to press the button so that you can be so there you go, you have the shampoo right here. Which I'll be applying on my hair. Most of the time, shampoo is basically something that applies to your scalp and to remove the impurities. But now you can apply to your scalp, hair, hair, because of the same thing. But I did watch the previous video apply shampoo. Which will be good. So yeah, use the shampoo over the hair as you know how you to apply. Like just like that, you know. Not so you know how you do in the washroom. Try to be so yeah, let's do that. Once we're done, I anyway I'm gonna do it outside. And we need sunshine and we have in the garden so it's much more fun there. So I'll catch you after applying the shampoo all over my hair, which is going to be funny or crazy, but yeah, we will wait and see how it looks, to see how it turns out, how this hair turns out to be after applying and washing shampoo, we need to cleanse the hair, which I know all of you guys like to do, yeah. so let's get ready for that. Guys, like seriously, but I know how funny it looks as well. <laughs> but then, yeah, this is uh, me applying shampoo, and I just let it rest for some time, you know. So that's how my hair looks. Right. So once this is done, you know, I'm not gonna leave it for long, but let it leave it. Like two minutes and then I'm just gonna go wash. I'll just come back to the video after I wash. So you guys can see how it looks like after washing uh, hair applied with a colored hair, a straightened hair, after applying a hair mask and then after this is a How it looks? We'll see. Wait a minute. And how that looks. So funny. Yeah, so we'll get back. magic is not here. There is that, sorry, there are like two more steps, which is applying the conditioner and then some drying, which is what I really like. Conditioner, which I'm gonna apply after I apply, I'll just get back to you to show you how it looks, and then you notice how it changes again. 
And after that, again, I'll come back after washing the conditioning. Very bad noise outside. And despite that, this is me applied, my hair applied to conditioner. You can see how it looks as well. I think you can see something about how the conditioner works. Take some time to do it well first. You just need to do All you need is some of the precious time to take care of this one, which is what I'm trying to do. And a few more this one. So you can see the difference. The hair is, doesn't look tangled like earlier because I've been doing this. Or if you have a white tooth comb, that's one that is preferred the most. Just use a white tooth comb which you can buy in a salon. And yeah, that's how you actually have to take care of your hair. And then, yes, you can see how straight the hair is. And uh, you can see this part is like that, but yeah. you see the hair that's straight now. But then after we wash, You'll see a lot of difference, which I'm going to show you. Let's wait, and then I'll show you after I wash my hair. You'll see the difference. Okay, again, this is me after washing. I have a conditioner. You can see how it looks. I can give you a better look by. Sorry for this. Waiting until the hair gets dry 
and it's dry you can see the result is still and uh, you can see the end part I hope you like this so that's an amazing result according to me but comment below on how you feel about this and if you've ever tried you should give this a shot and let us know how you feel about this i feel fuller and my hair seems to be soft i really like how this hair has turned out to be and at the end if you'd like you guys can try silicone for the hair and which i'm gonna just apply a little quantity and then just leave it like that because it's all good to go and i hope you guys love the look of the hair and how my hair turned out have a nice day take care and see you guys